kind of shows high point in the community what can be built on what was blighted lots just overgrown blighted lots you can build building a home and hope it's something scott jones with tiny house community development knows how to do well we just believe in that small community mindset and it's getting even smaller this empty lot on smith street will give a fresh start to a handful of veterans in high point According to Open Door Ministries, right now in High Point, there are 25 homeless veterans with shelter and around 52 without a place to call home. This mystery community will have four one-bedroom tiny homes, two two-bedroom family homes, and two three-bedrooms used as an assisted living. It's kind of like a veteran can come to this community as a just independent living and progress up to more extent, you know, more care for uh, their, whatever their needs might be. The lot will feature a small garden and a memorial for other veterans who have passed. The group will also transform this old home on the property to be a resource center for veterans living there and across Guilford County. There, they can help track down identification and sign up for benefits. They can rely on one another because they know they took that same oath that we all took when we decided to serve for our armed forces in the United States. The walls are already built, stacked, and waiting, and the volunteers are lining up with hope. We're going to see a more of an increase in homelessness. Um, we're, we're not going to ever eradicate homelessness, unfortunately, but we can certainly make an impact. And together as a community, that's how it's done.